Hi, uh, yes, uh, good morning to all of you. So let us start our session. Yes, guys, do you hear me? Hello, guys, do you hear me? Okay, yeah, thank you, sir. So let us start our session. So previously, so previous class, what is, how do, just definitional we discussed. Next, what is big data? Just big data introduction discussed. So big data. So the definition, any amount of data which is beyond of storage limit called as big data, the definition discussed. Next. <clears throat> yes, data volume. That measuring units, data volume units discussed. Next, different sources of big data discussed. Next, big data challenges. Yes, today topic is big data challenges. What are these challenges? Yes, that are facing from big data. So let us see about all the big data challenges. What are the challenges that are facing from the big data? Like data storage, data processing, high-end hardware. Next, very large files, high-end hardware, very large files backup and recovery next disaster management disaster management so these all are big data challenges yes traditional systems are not in a position to all face all the challenges okay traditional systems like traditional databases like traditional databases like the traditional yes a traditional Databases, traditional databases like Oracle database, Oracle database, MySQL database, yes, maybe DB2, DB2, yes, next, Microsoft SQL Server, MS SQL servers. These servers are traditional databases, right? These traditional databases are not in a position to face all the challenges, okay? Yes, traditional database like Oracle database, MySQL, yes, DB2, Microsoft SQL Server. So this cannot handle all these challenges here, right? To handle all these challenges here, how do is the best solution? How do provide best solution for above all the challenges? Okay, now let us see. Yes, what's the solution from the how do? Okay, so first let us see one by one data storage. So first about data storage. Yes, in traditional systems, data storage. Let us say about data storage. So, first data storage. Okay, data storage. Yes, traditional systems. First, let us say about traditional systems. How the data storage? Traditional systems. Yes, in traditional systems. Yes, tuples, database server. Traditional systems, database server. Let us say about traditional systems, database server. Database server. Okay, database server, right? Yes, database server. Let me take some database server. So, database server. Yes. See this database server. Like this, right? Database server. Suppose initially database server. How, how to build the database server? Yes, building the database server. Suppose initially database server capacity is 2 dB. Okay, 2 dB. Yes, in olden days, 2 dB is very big data. Nowadays, 2 dB is very small. So, database initially with 2 dB space. So, first database setup. Initially, when database setup, we have that capacity of database server may be 2 dB. 2 dB, right? Yes, once 2 dB data filled here. That space fill here. Next, DBA he will add one more disk to database. So next, making some four TB, increasing this size of this capacity of this. Suppose this also filled. 
adding next to two bit two tp disk it's like this one by one you will add the disk like this okay so initially two tp disk so initially two tp disk here so first initially yes initially database server yes initially yes capacity yes initially capacity may be two tp disk yes initially capacity capacity two tp two tp right initially capacity is two tp two tp disk right initially capacity two tp yes once once disk is filled here so once disk filled once disk filled then disk fill here then admin yes admin yes will add one more disk yes db database administrator yes adding yes will add one more disk one more to the next to the dispatch just adding to the space right to the dispatch like this okay so db yes yes just adding by adding yes here once disk is filled here yes db by adding by adding to be two tp disk two tp disk to existing system here you will increase the yes space capacity right? increasing capacity now capacity becomes 4 tb like this next plus 2 tb next 2 tb plus yes next 2 tb plus next 2 tb like this plus next 2 tb like this 2 tb 2 tb like this okay so what's the maximum of this one here what's the maximum capacity here that depends on system here that maximum capacity of data server depends on yes computer yes computer yes this maximum capacity yes max max capacity so max capacity depends on depends on yes depends on system right system right okay yes see here every computer there's a motherboard yes motherboard yes motherboard yes with with 12 slots so this is minimum so this is basic hardware right yes motherboard with 12 slots 12 slots or we can say yes motherboard with 12 slots these slots we can say lunch also yes lunch we can say lunch 12 lunch right so 12 lunch yes if it is 12 lunch yes how much maximum space here there's space then volume yes volume of that database volume yes volume equal 12 lunch multiplied by 2 tb right this value equal to 24 tb so max is 24 tb right so like this you can increase up to 24 tb here initially database capacity 2 tb 2 tb here next you can add one more disk one more disk one more to 2 tb 2 tb like this up to 12 we can add it so max capacity is now 24 tb right so max capacity is now 24 tb right this is right okay next so this is just low end system here this is a basic configuration low end system here suppose high end system here yes if it is high end system Yes, high end system with the yes 24 yes 24 slots high end system motherboard yes high end system motherboard that motherboard yes motherboard motherboard with 24 slots 24 slots then what is what is the volume of this one here what is the volume yes volume equal to volume equal to 24 multiplied by yes 2 tb yes this volume equal to 40 tb right 40 tb Right, okay, this is a ING, somewhat IN. Okay, 40 TB, somewhat IN here, right? Yes, still, yes, space is not, yes, suppose this is still the space required. Then how to increase this? Yes, here basic, basic volume is 2040 TB here, minimum is 2040, basic is 2040 TB here. It's a basic hardware. Okay, low end system, basic hardware here. Next, high end system, motherboards okay with 24 slots right okay yes high end system yes motherboard with 24 slots so 24 and 2 tb equal 40 tb right so this is high end system right yes suppose still if you want to increase the size of this capacity of this how to increase here then we should go for very high end system here very high end system here very high end system so very high end system yes very high end system yes so you can go to very high end system. Yes, very high end system. Yes, with the motherboard. Yes, very high end system. Yes, have the motherboard. This this have the motherboard. Yes, motherboard. Yes, motherboard with the yes 
motherboard with uh, yes sorry one second very high end system yes can have can have two motherboards can have two motherboards two motherboards very high end system can have two motherboards yes if it is two motherboards okay yes if it is two motherboards yes each motherboard 24 slots right see each motherboard each motherboard yes motherboard yes here each each motherboard yes each motherboard with yes with 24 slots right 24 slots each motherboard with 24 slots then if it is 24 slots how much capacity here yes then volume then volume is equal to yes how much space yes here two motherboards high end system yes very high end system can have two motherboards yes each motherboard 24 slots so your volume so how much volume finally here yes how much volume of this here so volume equal to here two motherboards multiplied by 24 slots yes is equal to 48 slots right it's a 48 slots 48 slots then 48 slots multiplied by each slot with 2 tb disk right each slot with 2 tb disk is equal to 96 tb so this is high end system 96 tb okay yes let us repeat once again here yes data storage yes topic is big data challenges today topic is big yesterday just basic we discussed here what is big data introduction discussed yes what is big data that introduction discussed okay yes what are the challenges from the big data yes data storage data processing high-end hardware very large files backup and recovery disaster management these are the big data challenges right big data challenges yes the traditional database servers okay traditional databases like Oracle database mysql db2 microsoft sql server these all are traditional databases right these traditional databases are not in a position to face all these challenges okay yes oracle database for this is the limit here okay it can't store yes huge amount of data big data cannot store the oracle database cannot store big data cannot handle big data yes mysql db2 microsoft sql server yes all these database traditional database servers are not in a position to or face all the challenges yes storing big data cannot big data processing cannot care next for this yes high end hardware required okay next very large files traditional systems cannot handle very large files here backup and recovery it's a risky task disaster management is a risky task right so traditional systems are not in a position to face all the challenges okay yes how to face all the challenges which is the right technology in the market here which is the right technology in software here yes hadoop hadoop is the best technology here so hadoop is the right technology yes to face all the challenges yes hadoop provides best solution for all, all the above challenges so hadoop provides best solutions for yes for all the above challenges yes all the above challenges yes what are the solution from the hadoop yes let us see one by one here solution from the hadoop yes data storage what is the solution from the hadoop here data processing what is the solution high end hardware okay what is the solution very large files backup and recovery disaster management yes these are the yes main challenges yes apart from this other challenges they are primary challenges next we have other challenges also other challenges we will see next here these are the main challenges right okay so how do provides how do provides best solutions for all the above challenges okay yes what is the solution from the how let us see so one by one first about data storage first about data storage okay yes now we'll see traditional systems versus how data storage traditional systems versus hadoop can data processing traditional systems versus hadoop yes all these challenges okay yes traditional system how it handles this one here and next the hadoop how it handles okay right okay yes traditional systems versus hadoop here today topic is traditional systems versus hadoop here traditional databases like oracle database mysql these are called as traditional database servers how do we sell latest one right how do we the latest one here let us see yes difference between this and this here traditional systems versus and hadoop here right let us first have a data storage yes first we'll start with traditional systems in traditional systems here 
yes traditional systems about traditional systems for like data storage traditional systems okay yes see database server yes in traditional system database server suppose initially capacity is 2 tb for example here initially capacity 2 tb right 2 tb disk dba database administrator yes you will set up database right suppose initially the database server installed on the 2 tb disk so initially storage capacity only 2 tb yes initially storage capacity mainly 2 tb right okay yes once this 2 tb disk filled so once 2 tb disk see yes applications see this application architecture web application okay so web application so whatever data we are uploading here the data goes to web application the storing database right so this application web application web application continuously generating data right every day generating data this web, web application yes maybe facebook application or flipkart application or or maybe google application or gmail or durga website something like this that web application continuously generating data every day right every day generating some data right okay so daily some transactions okay daily yes some transactions right all the transactional data generating instead of database server, right generating here yes initial database server capacity 2 tb right initially database this server capacity is 2 tb initially just it's a 2 tb right so initially it's a 2 tb just 2 tb okay right yes here continuously generating data so at some particular point of time here this database may be filling here yes 2 tb filling right see once reach to 80 percent of the space okay once 80 percent reach it here okay then raising warning message suppose reach to 90 percent of space okay 90 percent fill here then critical message raises so once delivered critical message once receiving critical message now dba will increase the capacity of this yes database database administrator yes so once disk filled yes on reaching 90 percent of storage space 90 percent is of storage space here that raises the message critical message critical message right yes on receiving that message cannot dba by adding 2 tb disk yes one more 2 tb disk initially with 2 tb disk right now you will add one more 2 tb disk by adding this you can make it as 2 to 4 tb right now the becomes 4 tb right okay suppose 4 tb filled here next 2 tb will add it so this is also filled here next 2 tb so this also filled next 2 tb this also filled next 2 tb here like this you can increase the volume of this disk right yes just increasing this volume of disk right only one server just increasing capacity of disk right yes just increasing capacity of system this is called a vertical scaling this is called as vertical scaling here yes only one server but increasing volume of that server capacity of server this is called as vertical scaling all the traditional systems follow vertical scaling this is called as vertical scaling right okay yes here 2 tb disk 2 tb disk maximum how many in here what is the maximum volume of this yes what is the maximum of this database server here that depends on the system here that depends on your computer maximum capacity depends on system see yes every system yes motherboard with the 12 slots motherboard with the 12 slots yes motherboard contains 12 slots here or lunch we can say lunch 12 slots or 12 lunch here we can say anyone right yes it's a basic basic hardware so any system basic hardware it's a basic hardware basic motherboard contains 12, 12 slots so you can that what's the value of the system here 12 slots multiplied by 2 tb disk right so first initially starting 2 tb disk so once reach to 90 percent then admin you will yes you will add one more 2 tb disk right there are 12 slots okay just only plug in just you will plug in one more 2 tb disk right so once you fill next 2 tb once you fill next 2 tb next 2 tb like this adding like this how many here 12 max and 12 right 12 slots 12 into 2 so 24 tb right so 24 tb so this is 24 tb right so volume is now 24 tb right okay next so this is volume of this is 24 tb right yes next higher yes this is a basic this is basic configuration here so this is basic configuration okay basic hardware right this is a basic system next high-end motherboards yes if it is high-end motherboards 
that can have 24 slots yes psi and motherboard can have 24 slots yes if it is 24 slots then volume what's the what total volume here 24 into 2 here is equal to 48 tv right it's a 48 tv just it's a 48 tv right so this is high-end system high-end system capacity is 48 tv right okay yes if it is very high-end system very high-end system here very high-end system can have two motherboards there are two motherboards very high-end system with two motherboard right yeah then each motherboard each motherboard with 24 slots each motherboard with 24 slots right yeah, then what is the volume of this volume 2 into 2 24 it's a 48 slots yes it's a 48 slots then what is total capacity 48 into 2 tb yes 96 tb so finally here it's a 96 right it's, it's a very high-end system right very high-end system next one more here yes in market yes 10 tb is also available 10 tb is also available Yes, if 10 TB disk also available. Yes, if it is 10 TB disk, then what is the maximum cap? 40 H multiplied by 10. So this value is equal to yes, how much here? 480 TB. Right? This is very, very high-end system cap. Okay, very high-end system cap with huge amount of space, right? Huge amount of volume, right? 480 TB here. Okay, so this is max, not more than this. Max is 480 TB. But this this much of this this is very high end system. This is not recommended here. This is not all recommended. Okay. Yes, recommended is just basic one is recommended. 40 TV. This is recommended. 40 TV. Yes, 24. Yes, the 24 slots into 2 TV. Yes, this is very basic here. Very basic. 12 into 2. So very low end hardware. This is low end hardware. So media range. This is recommended. Medium hardware. This is recommended. So only one motherboard with 24 slots. One motherboard with 24 slots. 24 into 2 TB is a 40 TB. This is recommended. So around 50 TB, right? So this disk is recommended here. So max is 40 TB. So this is recommended one. So this is recommended. Okay. Yes, this is recommended. Right, okay. Yes. Yes, this type of increasing capacity here. This is called as vertical scaling. So this is called as vertical scaling. So this is vertical scaling, right? Just increasing capacity of server. Yes, increasing capacity of server is a vertical scaling. Increasing capacity of server is a vertical scaling. Yes, traditional systems follows vertical scaling here. All traditional, yes, a traditional, yes, traditional database, traditional database servers, yes, traditional database servers, traditional database servers follows, follows vertical scaling. This one follows vertical scaling. So what is vertical scaling? Just increasing capacity of database server. Just it's an increasing capacity of database server is called as vertical scaling. So this is traditional databases. It's a traditional database, right? Next, yes, if it is Hadoop. Yes, data storage in Hadoop. Let us see data storage. Yes, in Hadoop. Data storage in Hadoop. Data storage in Hadoop here. Right, okay. So for this purpose, we should discuss about Hadoop here. So what is Hadoop here? Yes. So first of all, Hadoop. Yes. What is Hadoop? Yes. Hadoop is a framework, right? Yes. Hadoop. Hadoop is a framework. Hadoop is a framework. Hadoop is a framework. Hadoop just is a framework. Okay. Hadoop is a framework. Yes. To store, to store and process. To store and process big data. Hadoop is a framework to store and process big data. Right? Yes. Hadoop. Hadoop is a framework. It's a framework to store and process, to store and process big data, right? It's a framework. Hadoop is a framework to store and process big data, right? Okay. Yes. Now let us see here Hadoop. Yes, this kind of code modules. Yes, Hadoop. Basically, there are two code mo core modules here. There are two core modules in Hadoop here. There are two core modules, two core modules in Hadoop. Two core modules in Hadoop. Two core modules. That first one is HDFS. First one is HDFS. Yes, second one is MapReduce. HDFS and MapReduce. Okay, HDFS and MapReduce, right? So HDFS and MapReduce. So what is HDFS? What is MapReduce? So HDFS. So what is HDFS? HDFS stands for Hadoop. Yes, distributed Hadoop distributed file system. 
Hadoop distributed file system, right? Hadoop distributed file system. Okay. Yes, Hadoop distributed file system. HDFS stands for Hadoop distributed file system. Okay. So what is purpose of HDFS? HDFS, this is to store the data, to store the data. For the purpose is storing data. For the storing data here, to store data, right? To store big data. To store big data. Right, okay. Yes. HDFS Hadoop distributed file system to store big data. This is to store big data, right? Yes, next MapReduce. So what is MapReduce? Yes, what is MapReduce? MapReduce, yes, these are Java programs. So MapReduce, these are Java programs to process data. So these are Java programs, Java programs to process data, to process data, right? These are Java programs to process data, right? Okay, yes. So you can next here HDFS to store big data to store big data like a backend like a backend. So this is working like a backend. So this is like a backend. Yes, map reduce map reduce. Yeah, these are Java programs to process data. So process data just yes, like a front end. So this is like a front end and like a front end just like a front end. So this is like a front end. Okay, clear. So this is HDFS and map reduce. Clear. Okay. See any application for any application. There is a front end, back end. Right? There is a front end and back end here. Suppose your application. See, this is database. It's a back end application. It's a front end, right? Front end application. Yes, taking data and storing database, right? Data processing purpose. Application using for the yes, data processing. Maybe Java programs or something like this. These programs will be yes, storing data and reading data. Storing and reading it. So processing, right? It's a data processing. So these are to process data. This is to store the data. That's the difference, right? Yes. So storage and processing, correct? To storage and processing. Okay. Yes. Here, HDFS to store the data. How do distribute file system to store big data like a backend? Okay. Right? Yes. MapReduce. These are the Java programs. MapReduce are the Java programs to process data. To process big data. To process big data. Like a front end, so it's like a front end, right? So this is a yes, storage and processing here. So HDFS and MapReduce, right? Okay, yes, here. So first of all, let us see. Yes, HDFS to store big data like a back end, MapReduce, the other Java programs to process big data like a front end. Okay, yes, what is DFS actually here? DFS means distributed file system, right? DFS means distributed file system what is distributed file system let us see that what is distributed file system see here in distributed file system see in distributed file system in distributed file system a file a file split into a file split into multiple yes multiple parts a file split into multiple parts okay yes in distributed file system a file split into multiple parts and distributing on yes on distributing distributing on multiple distributing on multiple yes systems multiple systems in a network in a network in a network okay yes network edge right? that means one file one file dividing into multiple parts okay so you get file splitting into multiple blocks here multiple files multiple parts in distributed file system in DFS here, yes, one file, yes, a file split into multiple, split into multiple parts and distributing onto multiple, multiple systems in a network. Right, okay. So one file storing and multiple systems, one file storing and multiple systems, that is called distributed file system, right? Okay. Yes, traditional systems will not support that here. Yes, in traditional systems, yes, in traditional, yes, in traditional systems, yes, traditional file system. Yes, in traditional file system, file system like uh, Linux and Windows file system. Yes, Linux and Windows file system, right? Traditional file systems, traditional file systems like Windows and Linux. In this file system here, one file is on only one system. One file, yes, storing on only one file system here, one system here. So one file storing on, yes. So one file storing on, one file storing on only one system not multiple systems one only only one system only one system right so only one system this is traditional file system so only one system right okay 
So only one system. Yes, in traditional cells, the file, the file cannot break here. Okay, here file cannot break. Okay, file file cannot break. Yes, right. File cannot break in traditional systems. File cannot break. It's not a breakable file here. So file cannot can't break in traditional file systems. Okay. Yes, we can't break the file here. Yes, we can't divide in different partitions here. Okay, file cannot break in traditional systems. Okay, traditional file system. Yes, in, in distributed file system, if it is distributed file system, a okay, file is fitting into multiple parts and distributing onto multiple computers in network, multiple systems in a network. Edge. But in traditional file system like Linux, Windows file system, one file storing and only one system. One file storing and only one system. Yes, it's not a breakable, right? Yes, file cannot. Yes, file cannot break in traditional systems. Okay, file cannot break into multiple parts. Into multiple, yes, multiple parts in traditional systems cannot break. Okay, file is not breakable in tra traditional systems, right? So this is a yes, traditional system file system. Yes, next distributed file system like this. Yes, now let us come to how do distributed file system. What is the HDFS? The distributed file system means files fitting into multiple parts, storing and multiple computers and network edge. Same thing. Yes, how do following HDFS? So HDFS. So what is HDFS here? So what is HDFS? HDFS means Hadoop distributed file system, right? Hadoop distributed file system. So HDFS stands for Hadoop distributed file system. Yes. In HDFS, what happens here? In HDFS, a file. Yes, a file fitting, fitting into, fitting into multiple blocks. Yes, multiple, multiple blocks. Fitting into multiple blocks. Yes, in HFS, a file is fitting into multiple blocks and distributing on, yes, and distributing, and distributing, and distributing on multiple nodes in a cluster. Distributing on, onto multiple, yes, multiple nodes in a cluster. Distributing onto yes multiple nodes in a cluster. Yes, multiple multiple nodes, multiple nodes in a cluster. In a cluster. Okay. So what is cluster here? It's a Hadoop network. Yes, Hadoop cluster is a Hadoop network. What is Hadoop cluster? Exactly, we'll discuss next step. Yes, what is Hadoop cluster? We'll see next here. Okay. Yes, next coming topic, Hadoop cluster. Yes, in HDFS, a file splitting into multiple blocks. What is block? We should discuss. Yes, splitting into multiple blocks and distributing onto distributing onto multiple nodes in a cluster. Multiple nodes. Yes, what is node? Node means computer. Just like our computer. Okay, in Hadoop. Yes, Hadoop. Hadoop network is called a cluster. Hadoop network is a Hadoop cluster. That network contains some interconnected computers, right? All that interconnected computers are called as nodes. Computers, each and every computer is one node, right? Each and every computer is a node here. Computer is a node, network is a cluster. Right, okay. So general LAN, local area network, right? Yes, all interconnected computers, right? Interconnected computers. That network, that network is called as cluster. In Hadoop, it's a cluster. Hadoop terminology, that network is called as cluster. It's a cluster. Next, those computers, interconnected computers are called as nodes. Nodes, right? Node means computer. Yes, which contains hard disk, RAM memory, motherboard, like our computer. Yes, multiple computers connected to each other is a cluster. So, what is exactly cluster architecture? We'll discuss next. Step. Okay, right? Yes. In HFS, a file is fitting into multiple blocks and distributing onto multiple nodes in cluster. Okay. So, node means computer, cluster means network. That is clear. Block. Let us say about block. What is block here? So, what is a block? Okay. So what is a block? Yes, here file system. Yes, file system may be anyone. For any file system, for any file system, for any file system, for any file system, hard disk. For any file system, hard disk. Hard disk divides. Divides into multiple blocks. Hard disk divides into multiple. Yes, multiple blocks. Hard disk divides into multiple blocks. Multiple blocks or this divides in multiple blocks okay so what is block let us see that yes for any file system yes file system maybe hfs or traditional file system okay for any file system it's a traditional 
traditional file system like Linux. Okay. Yes, Linux or Windows or Hadoop. Traditional file system. Yes, or or HDFS or HDFS. Yes, any case. Traditional file system or HDFS. So any case, hard disk divides into multiple blocks. Let us see that. What is block here? Disk dividing into multiple blocks. So what the letters? This is disk. Right? Disk. Yes, block one. Block one. Yes, disk block one. Yes, next block. Yes, block two. Next block. Yes, block three. Like this, multiple blocks here. So last block. Yes, block n, right? Block n. Okay. Yes, block n. Multiple blocks like this. Number of blocks, right? Yes, now here number of blocks depends on yes file system, depends on file system and depends on disk volume, right? Block. Yes, what is size of this each block? Yes, here next question is what is yes, what is size of each block? What is size of each block? What is size of each block? Yes, that depends on file system. So what is size of each block? So that depends on yes, depends on file system. Depends on file system. Depends on file system, right? Yes, the traditional file systems. Traditional, traditional file systems. Traditional file system. Traditional file system. Yes, like your, like your Windows. Yes, Windows and Linux. Windows and Linux. In traditional file systems, Windows, Linux here. Windows and Linux here. Yes, size of, size of each block. Size of each block is equal to 4 KB. Size of each block. Size of each block is 4 KB. Just only 4 KB. So this is size of each block. What is size of each block? Depends on file system. Yes, traditional file systems. Just like Windows and Linux base. Size of each block is 4 KB. So if you have 4 KB, 4 KB, 4 KB, 4 KB, right? So for 2 TB disk. The 2 TB disk divides into multiple blocks. 2 TB divided by 4 KB, right? So getting that much of blocks. All right. So what 10 TB disk? 10 TB divided by 4 KB, right? Like this. Okay. So 4 KB, 4 KB, 4 KB, like this, right? Suppose some file is created. So first initially storing empty block. Next empty block. Next empty, like this, filling like this. So when file is created here, the data filling into blocks like this. Each block is 4 KB, 4 KB. Suppose file says yes. Yes, more than 4 KB, then goes next block. Still data is there. Good next block. Still data is set. Good next block like this. So you can when file is created first filling first block. Yes, if not enough next block. Still data is set next block. Still data next block like this. Like this. Yes, storing and multiple nodes. Yes, sorry, storing and multiple blocks with this thread. Right? So this is traditional file system, right? Now let us see. How do distribute file system? Yes, HDFS. HDFS. Size of. In HDFS, size of each block. Size of each block, size of each block, yes, depends on version here. Depends on Hadoop version. Depends on Hadoop version. Hadoop version, right? Depends on Hadoop version. Yes, Hadoop. Yes, in Hadoop they say one dot X version. Next. Two dot X version. Next. Three dot X version. Two dot X and three dot X is same here. Okay. Yes, little bit features changing here. Yes, here. HFS. Yes, in HFS, size of each block. Size of each block. Yes, depends. Size of each block depends on Hadoop version. Yes, Hadoop 1.x version. Yes, in Hadoop 1.x version, yes, default. Yes, default. Default size of. Default size of each block. Yes, one second. Yes, in 1.x version, size of each block. Size of each block is equal to. 64 MB. It's a 64 MB. It's the MB, not KB here. Yes, in traditional systems is a 4 KB right? In traditional systems is a 4 KB. In traditional systems is a 4 KB here. But when come to HDFS here, size of which block is 64 MB. So this is default case. It's a case of defaults. So this is default, right? By default, 64 KB here. Yes, it can be configured. Yes, we can change it here. Yes, how to change the size of each block? We'll discuss next. Step. It can be configured. Yes, up to 128 MB. That means we can make it double here. It can be configured up to 128 MB. Default size of each block is 64 MB. Yes, it can be configured. 
yes it can be yes it can be configured it can be configured up to 120 mb so this is a case of hadoop 1.x version right okay next yes hadoop 2.x and 3.x okay yes both cases same case size of each block size of each block yes default is 128 mb default is 128 mb it can be configured up to 256 mb means we can make it double 256 right yes very big size this is okay yes in traditional system just only 4 kb here but when come to hadoop case size of each block is 128 mb so if this is a one dot x version default is 64 here yes it can be configured up to 128 yes 2 x version here yes size of which block is 128 mb it can be configured up to 256 mb right yes we are going to use 2 x version yes 3 dot x version recently released here yes no one using still not at using yes 3 dot x version here so just we are using 2 dot x version yes even for you guys also i'm explaining 2 dot x version here 2.7.2 version we are going to discuss about 2.7.2 version here 2.7.2 version here okay that version we are going to discuss here so as per that size of default size of each block is 128 mb okay default is 120 mb that we can make it 256 also so this is size of each block right okay right yes so in hadoop yes in hfs here so first file splitting into multiple blocks right and distributing and multiple in cluster suppose for example here yes no cluster yes a file splitting into multiple blocks so each block size of each block is 128 mb right so yes here file splitting into multiple blocks suppose for example here 100 gb file is there that 100 gb file splitting into multiple blocks then distributing onto multiple nodes in cluster distributing onto multiple nodes in cluster okay let us see about cluster here Yes, Hadoop cluster. Yes, about Hadoop cluster. Hadoop cluster. Yes, Hadoop cluster. Yes, just it's a high level architecture. Low level later we'll discuss. Hadoop cluster. High level. High level architecture. Yes, low level architecture may not be understanding at this stage. Next we'll list. After installing Hadoop, we'll discuss about low level architecture. Now, how do cluster high level architecture? High level architecture. So, what is high level architecture? Okay. Yes, how do cluster high level architecture? Yes, how do we say master and slave architecture? Yes, how do is a master under master and slave master and slave architecture? Master and slave architecture. It's a master and slave architecture. It's a master and slave architecture. Yes, what is master? What is slave? Let us see one by one here. Yes, let me take text box. Yes. Master. Yes, called as known name note. So this is name note name node this one computer name node is one computer name node here yeah, this is master here yeah, this is master okay name node it's a master right it's a master so it's a master node right so this is master node next slave nodes yes slave nodes are called data nodes okay slave nodes data nodes so next is slave in slave nodes yes called as data nodes so this is data nodes data nodes yes data node one yes slave nodes are multiple slave nodes that depends on volume of data yes multiple nodes maybe 10 nodes maybe 100 nodes maybe 500 nodes maybe 1000 nodes maybe 2000 nodes okay depends on data here multiple nodes so data node one next data nodes to second data node yes data node two data node one data node two second node okay next data node one data node two yes next data node three next data node four 
data node 5 okay yes like this multiple nodes here data node 1 2 3 4 5 6 like this multiple data nodes like this data node n here up to number of nodes so data node n multiple data nodes so data node 1 data node 2 data node 3 yes data node 4 yes data node 5 up to n number of nodes data node n right n number of data nodes these all things these are called as slave these are the slave nodes these are called as slave nodes all these are slave nodes okay yes all these are slave nodes just one second these are slave nodes these are slave nodes all the nodes are slave nodes all data they are slave nodes okay so these are slave nodes yes these are slave yes they are slave nodes all these are Yes, slave nodes. All these are slave nodes. Okay. These are slave nodes. So these are slave. So master and slave, right? Yes, in slave data node one, data node two. Yes, all the data nodes communicates with name nodes. Data node one communicates with name, name node here. Next data node two. Yes, next data node three. Yes, every data node communicates with name nodes. Just the communication. Yes, all our network, this Hadoop network is called as Hadoop cluster. Yes, Hadoop cluster is a Hadoop cluster. It's a master and slave architecture. Yes, how many nodes can be configured? That is your doubts. That depends on volume of data. Okay. Yes, here maximum number of nodes we'll discuss. Just wait. Yes, next, next, next coming topic. Maximum number of nodes, 10,000. In a cluster, maximum number of nodes are 10,000. Yes, we'll discuss. Yes, in one dot expression is a 4,000 nodes, but in two dot expression is a 10,000 nodes. Maximum number of nodes in the cluster is 10,000 nodes. Max is 10,000. We'll discuss that. So first, suppose initially here, name nodes. Yes, node 1, node 2, node 3, node 4, 5, 6, up to the number, number of nodes, right? Suppose initially, initially cluster, cluster, configured with initially cluster, Initially cluster, cluster, yes, initially cluster with 100 nodes, with 100 nodes of capacity something. Suppose initially, yes, initially cluster with 100 nodes. Suppose each node, suppose this is first node, yes, here recommended capacity of nodes. Recommended capacity previously with this, this is recommended, right? Volume, 48 TV, right? So 50 TV space, right? Yes, around 50 TV. So you get 50 TV, 50 TV, 50 TV, 50 TV, right? So 50 TV multiplied by 100, right? So you can initially cluster with 100 nodes of each of each capacity of each capacity 48 TV, right? So this is recommended capacity here, 48 TV. Then what is total? Yes, total volume. Total volume. Total volume of cluster. So what's the total capacity of cluster? Here? Total volume is equal to 100 multiplied by 48 TV. 48 TV. 100 multiplied by 48 TV. This value is equal to here. 4,800. It's a 4,800. This value is equal to Yes, 4.8 petabytes. Terabytes next around 4.8 petabytes, right? Okay. So around that. Around yes, around yes, around 4.8 petabytes, right? So this is initially capacity of cluster. Initial capacity of cluster. Okay. So initially capacity of cluster, right? Yes, now now loading data. Yes, yes, name node. Name node is a master 
Yes, jade notes are sleeve notes, right? Yes. What is the difference between master and sleeve chair? So master, master is like a yes, master notes. Master, yes, master is like a is like a he's like a manager, he's like a manager in a company, manager in a company, like a manager, right? Okay. Next sleeve notes, sleeve notes, sleeve note is he's like a employee yes he's like a employee right yes here manager giving instruction to the employee right so employee has to work as per the instructions from the manager right so manager has to guide the employee right so manager giving instructions as per the instructions of manager manager that employee has to work okay now here yes now this case name note is a master so here data notes are slave notes right so here all the data notes have to work as per the instructions from the name nodes. So name node always giving instructions. It's a master. It's a central control in the Hadoop architecture here. Yes, Hadoop cluster. Okay. Name node is a central controller. It's a central control in the Hadoop architecture. Hadoop cluster, right? Hadoop cluster. Okay, right? Yes, every request goes to name nodes. See every request. Okay. So every request simply every request goes to name nodes. Every request goes to name nodes. So every user request, okay, that user request. So every user request goes to name notes. Yes, every user request. So every user request. One second. Yes, so every user request. Yes, user request. Yes, user request. Goes to name right? Yes, user request. There are two things here. There are two things. One is data loading, another is job submission. Yes, data loading request. First one is data loading request. Data loading or second one, job submission. Data loading or job submission. Only these two things in Hadoop here. Either data loading or job submission request. That request could be data loading or job submission. So the user request data loading into cluster, right? Or job submission cluster, right? So every request goes to name notes. Okay. Yes. Let us see data loading. Now we get data storage, right? Not data loading request. So how name node handles data loading request, right? Not data loading request. Data loading request. Not data loading request, right? So when when you try to load the load the data, so the request first goes to name notes. Name node taking data loading request. Okay. Data loading request. How it is passing by the name notes? Let us see that. Okay. Yes, data loading request. Yes, on receiving on receiving data loading request. On receiving data loading request. Name note. Name note. Divide C. Divide C file data. File data into multiple. Multiple. Yes, dividing data into Yes, multiple blocks. Dividing get into multiple. First of all, dividing into multiple blocks. So first, all the data here, file data, dividing into multiple blocks. Just dividing into multiple blocks. Just divides into multiple blocks. Yes, on receiving data loading request, the name node divides file, divides the file into multiple blocks, and and distributing and distributing onto distributing onto multiple multiple data nodes multiple data nodes multiple data nodes in the cluster in the cluster right okay yes here name node is to take the request from the yes users then pass into data nodes not distributing onto multiple nodes right distributing onto multiple nodes so first name node taking data from the yes user Suppose loading file one, for example, loading file one. Okay, yes. Suppose yes, loading, loading a file, loading a file with 100 GB. Loading, for example, loading a file with 100 GB. So this 100 GB data simply here, that 100 GB data. So simply that 100 GB data goes to name node, right? Now name node taking that 100 GB, then dividing into multiple blocks. Multiple blocks of dividing in multiple blocks, then distributing onto multiple nodes in the data nodes in the cluster. See data nodes. 
to store actual data of the file. Yes, here data notes, data notes to store to store actual data of the file. To store actual data of the file. Actual data of the file. Actual data of the file. In data notes storing actual data of the file. Okay, data note to store actual data of the file. Name node is to take the request. So just name node is to take the request here. Maybe data loading request and job submission request. So name node taking request here. After taking data loading request here, divides data into multiple blocks. Okay, then distributing a multiple nodes in cluster. How that distribution takes place? Let us see here. Suppose here file. For example, here. For example, yes, a file, a file with 100 GB. That 100 GB dividing into multiple blocks. A file with 100 GB dividing into multiple blocks. Yes, how it divides? Dividing into multiple blocks. Dividing into blocks. Dividing into blocks. How it divides? Okay, let us see that. Yes, blocks. Right, okay. Yes, 100 GB is equal to. Yes, 100 GB is equal to how many blocks? Here, question is 100 GB equal to how many blocks? This is question here. 100 GB. Yes, is equal to how many blocks? Let us see that. 100 GB equal to how many blocks? See. Yes, the size of each block. Size of each block is equal to 128 MB, which is default in 200 X version, right? 128 MB, 200 X. Yes, we are going to work on 200 X version. That's the reason I am explaining about 200 X here. Yes, size of each block is equal to 128 MB. Yes, in Hadoop 200 X version. So this is yes Hadoop 200 X version, right? Yes, in Hadoop 200 X version, size of each block is equal to 120 MB. Right, okay, then 1 GB equal to how many blocks? 1 GB equal to 1024 MB, right? 1024 MB. 1 GB equal to 1024 MB. So 1024, yes, MB divided by 128 MB, right? 120 MB. This value is equal to how many blocks here? 8 blocks, right? 8 in 120, yes, 1024. 1024 divided by 128 is equal to 8 blocks. So it's 8 blocks, right? 8 blocks. 1 GB equal to 8 blocks, right? So here 1 GB is equal to 8 blocks. 8 blocks, right? 1 GB equal 8 blocks. Then 100 GB equal to how many blocks? Yes, 1 GB equal to 8 blocks. Then 100 GB equal to how many blocks here? Yes, right. Yes, 800 blocks. 800 blocks, right? It's a 800 blocks here. 800 blocks, right? 800 blocks. Okay. So dividing the 800 blocks, right? Yes, file. Then 100 GB data file dividing the 800 blocks. After dividing the 800 blocks here, distributing onto multiple nodes in cluster here. Yes, one second. Let me take that cluster. Yes, here data loading request. Data loading request here. Now it's a data loading. Yes, user request. Data loading. Data loading, right? Yes, loading. Loading a file with 100 GB. So distributing, I guess, here is a 800 box, right? Yes, 100 GB is equal to, so 100 GB is equal to 800 box. So this 800 box, yes, distributing and multiple nodes cluster here. Suppose node 1, suppose 100 blocks, three space available, here 100 blocks. Yes, maybe 100 blocks here. Suppose in data nodes, no free space, skipping that node. Okay, no free, no free space, then skipping that. Suppose node 3, yes, in node 2, no space, no space, skipping that here. Suppose node 3, 150 blocks of space are already here. Next, node 4, suppose here 100 blocks are already here. Yes, node 5, maybe 256 blocks are available. Like this, depends on space availability. That 800 blocks has to distribute, right? Suppose node 1, 100 blocks. Yes, node 2, no space. Next, looking for node 3 here. Yes, yes, node 3, and node 3, 150 blocks of free space. Node 4, 100 blocks of free space. So, node 5, 250 blocks like this. That's still finishing the 800 blocks, distributing onto multiple nodes in cluster here. Right, okay. So, depends on space available, distributing onto multiple nodes in cluster, right? So, you can name node, takes the data loading request. So name it first of all taking data load on receiving data loading data loading request here. 
name node divides a file data into multiple nodes in the yes first file data divide into multiple blocks first name node taking data loading request that file file data after taking file data yes after taking file data after taking file data divides into multiple blocks yes those blocks are distributing into multiple nodes in cluster depends on space availability depends on space availability yes distributing onto multiple nodes in cluster right so this is data distribution data distribution right okay so here one file storing and multiple nodes one file storing and multiple nodes so it will try to distribute on as many as nodes here many number of nodes so why distributing and many number of nodes we'll discuss next it's adobe algorithm here in data processing i'll explain that in data process suppose for example here suppose in node one suppose node one one tb free space available just assume that one tb free space available suppose node one one tb free space available okay just assume that in node one node one itself one tb free space available now our data loading is only 100 gb right this 100 gb can store into this data node one right data node is one tb free space now this is data node first node itself is capable of storing 100 gb right but it won't store into single nodes okay yes name node always it will try to distribute on as many number of as nodes here as many as nodes here right not single data never storing at single nodes here yes maybe 100 gb data maybe 10 gb data okay even 1 gb data also it will try to distribute in multiple nodes reason we'll discuss in data processing i'll explain this in data processing here why distributing into multiple nodes here we'll discuss next the reason we'll discuss next okay so any amount of data maybe 1 gb data or 2 gb data or 1 tb data any amount of a file can have any amount of data that any amount of data distributing into multiple nodes in cluster that file data always try to distribute into multiple nodes in cluster here never storing at single nodes okay even free space available yes even free space available here do it won't store in single nodes okay so how do never storing data in single nodes it will try to distribute on many number of nodes okay right yes what is that algorithm we'll discuss next in data processing i'll explain that okay so loading file data so first if i load it for example here historical data loading for example let us say historical data yes historical data suppose historical data historical data loading into cluster historical data loading into cluster for example historical data loading into cluster suppose history yes 2000 year 2000 year to yes to, yes 2020 means 20 years of data total 20 years of data 20 years of data 20 years of data loading class right all the historical data loading the cluster then then business analysis right yes any company yeah they have to do business analysis every company has to do their business analysis how they can analyze the business here with the help of the data world data all the historical data okay to analyze the business okay so what was happening the business here so in business what was happening the business okay so this year transactions previous year transactions last three years transaction last four years last five years last 10 years maybe last 20 years right year wise business they should analyze every company has to analyze their business year wise business right 20 years of business okay suppose the company started yes 2000 year 2000 to 2020 right 20 years of data right they have to analyze all these 20 years of data here 20 years of business okay so generally in the business here yes business sales right so the starting sales right like a sales graph right like sales graph like this sales graph like this the sales graph right next expenditure yes initially sales is zero expenditure at this position here yes initially yes company starting the expenditure right starting the expenditure first establishing com yes company starts with expenditure so expenditure graph suppose expenditure graph started here expenditure graph yes expenditure increasing like this 
expenditure increasing right just expenditure just increasing like this expenditure like like this right expenditure like this right expenditure okay right yes see expenditure initially expenditure this much here parallel here somewhat increasing little bit increasing here sales gradually increasing right like this yes this point what is this point yes this point is a break even point right yes it's a break even point that point yes right that point is called as break even right so once sales and expenditure both are same zero balance that is called as break even point so getting break even right yes after getting break even here this is this this part is what profits it's a profit right yes here so first 2000 year 2000 year graph right next year 2001 so next 2000 yes 2002 next yes 2003 right next 2004 right yes maybe in two three yes company started in 2004 2000 year right? yes got the break in 2004 from the profits yes 2005 okay yes every year like this 2006 yes 2007 yes 2008 yes 2009 yes up to 20 years right 20 years they have to analyze their business right every year business they have to analyze this year right okay like 20 years of data they have to analyze right 20 years of transactions okay so how they can analyze here yes all the old data historical data the backup right in the backup to analyze all the data all the data has to come to life yes if data is in live yes they can analyze otherwise they cannot analyze right data in backup yes backup is archive files data in the form of archive file we can't we can't read it right the data has to come to life yes how to get into life here yes we have to load into servers once data load into servers here from the backup disk yes here 20 years of data in the backup disk right that backup disk data has to load into cluster right load into cluster suppose here 2000 year data loaded first loading 2000 year data into cluster here next 2001 2002 2003 4 5 6 7 8 9 yes 10 yes of loading 2010 data cluster field okay yes after loading yes after loading after loading 10 years of data after loading 10 years of data cluster fields yes still 10 more years data right half loading 10 years of data cluster fields what happens here yes initially cluster capacity is only 100 nodes right 100 nodes 100 nodes cluster right it's a 100 nodes cluster it's a 100 nodes cluster right so here once a cluster fill here half loading 10 years of data cluster is filled here cluster is filled then how to handle that now still 10 more here data right yes totally 20 years of data for 10 years only cluster filled for 10 years only cluster filled right till still 10 years of data is the right so the data is more than capacity of cluster right now the cluster is having only 100 nodes but incoming data is more than the capacity of this cluster this is kind of big data right now facing big data problem now hadoop cluster facing big data problem yes hadoop cluster configured with 100 yes 100 nodes 100 nodes here half loading 10 years of data after loading 10 years of data cluster is filled cluster is filled right okay yes no space still data is there so incoming data is more than the capacity so any amount of data that incoming data any amount of data which is beyond of storage limits which is beyond of storage limit called as big data right now it's facing big data problem yes you understand what is exactly big data here yes that data that data is a more than the capacity of cluster the trust is having only 100 nodes but data is more than data is more than the capacity of cluster means now it's facing big data problem big data problem right Yes, suppose traditional system is it fails beyond of some limit cannot store here. Yes, see traditional system. Suppose previously we discussed a traditional system, right? Traditional system, CPU traditional system, maximum capacity. What's the maximum capacity? 480 TB, right? Very high in system, but this is not recommended here. Recommended is 40 TB. Recommended 40 TB. 
traditional system increasing maximum up to 40 ATP, right? Suppose more than 40 ATP, what happens? It fails. It cannot. There is a limit for the traditional system here. Max is 40 ATP. It fails. Once reached to 40 ATP here, yes, it fails. Okay. But still data is there. So 20 years of data. Yeah, this is traditional system only 40 ATP. Traditional server this is. Max is 40 ATP, right? See, initially, yes, initially small capacity here. Yes, like this increasing capacity here. Increasing capacity. Adding disk by adding disk here, you can increase the capacity, right? Increasing volume of disk. This is called as yes, vertical scaling. So maximum is 40 ATP, right? Not more than that. Traditional system fails. But in Hadoop here, when cluster fails, what is the solution here? So when yes, that cluster is filled here. Capacity. Yes, capacity. Yes, 100 nodes capacity. Right? Suppose each node 40 ATP, 100 into 40, it means yes, 4800, right? Okay, suppose, suppose, this is, suppose this is filled here. Okay, suppose this all the nodes, 100 nodes are filled. Up. Still data is there. Yes, after, yes, after loading 10 years of data, cluster is filled. Up. Then what happens here? Yes, now big data problem facing, right? Now Hadoop cluster facing big data problem. This case, what's the solution from the Hadoop? What is the solution from Hadoop here? Now initially cluster is configured with it. 100 nodes, right? Now, how do you but mean you can add one more node to cluster here? Adding one more node, adding one more node, continuously can add the nodes here without disturbing existing cluster. Without disturbing existing cluster here, yes, you can add, yes, one more node to cluster. Yes, you can add one more node like this, maybe five or six nodes. Okay, yes, that depends on the data here, yes, adding nodes. So this is existing cluster to this existing cluster. Now, how do you but mean? How do you but mean without disturbing existing cluster? You can add yes, someone or to cluster here. Yes, maybe this node is communicating with name nodes. Next, this node after adding communicating name nodes. Next, after adding this also communicates with name nodes. Now this also communicates name node, right? Yes, after adding these new nodes also communicates name nodes. Now these new, new nodes are part of cluster, right? Yes, 100 nodes are filled. So after filling here, adding five more nodes. Okay, yes. Now new nodes, node one, yes, node two, node three, yes, node four, okay, yes, node five, node five, right? Suppose existing cluster is 100 nodes, so this is 101 node, right? Node number 101. So it's a 101 node here. Next, 102. Like this, adding nodes here. Yes, one or two. Yes, next one or three. Like this, you can add the nodes one by one here. Yes, one or three. So one or three. Next one or four. Like this. So one or three. Next one or four. Next one or five. Yes, like this. Many number of nodes. Next one or four. Okay, next one or five. Like this, you can add the nodes here. Maybe five nodes or six nodes. Depends on data here. Suppose one or five like this. So add it right. New nodes add it right. Okay. Yes, after adding new nodes, now loading data. Suppose, yes, 2011 data, 2012 data loading here, 2013. Yes, after loading 2013 here, yes, again cluster field. Now it's a 105 nodes, right? Cluster field. Yes, cluster field. Still data is there, right? Still data is there. Now admin can add some more nodes to cluster here. Next, again, five nodes. Yes. One second. Yes. Suppose 105 nodes, these also filled. These also filled here. Now admin can add next another five nodes. Suppose these also filled. Next another five nodes. Yes, without without disturbing existing cluster, you can add five, five, or ten. So the depends on requirements. Continuously can add it here. Continuously can add next five nodes. So continuously can add the nodes in the cluster here, right? Like this. Continuously can add it. Next to five, next to five. Like this, how many nodes you can add here? How many nodes here? So maximum, yes, maximum nodes in the cluster. Yes, maximum nodes in the cluster. Maximum nodes in the cluster. Maximum nodes in the cluster is equal to 10,000 nodes. Yes, 10,000 nodes. 
right okay so this is maths and notes in the cluster this is yes how do yes how do how do two dot expression yes in one dot expression just it's only four thousand notes four thousand notes this is in how do one dot expression yes i work with both versions yes my work started with one dot expression 2013 yes 10000 notes successfully right 10000 notes we can add up to 10000 notes that okay suppose this cluster is filled 10000 notes cluster filled yes we can configure yes once the cluster filled all 10000 notes filled here yes all 10000 10000 notes filled all 10000 notes filled fill that means cluster filled right cluster filled so 10000 notes tested 10000 notes tested okay yahoo they have configured very big cluster yahoo configured yes 10000 tested up to 10000 but currently here at production yeah, yahoo has configured very big cluster 5000 nodes cluster they have configured now currently in the market in software field here yahoo has the very big cluster 5000 nodes cluster they are running now currently here right okay yahoo has the very big cluster okay the 10000 nodes cluster tested but not using no company using here max is 5000 5000 notes yet that that was tested by the yes uh, yahoo now yahoo you currently using 5000 notes cluster okay right yes so all 10000 notes means that means cluster filled cluster fills then we can configure one more cluster we can configure we can set up one more cluster here we can configure configure Yes, we can configure one more cluster. One more. Okay. Suppose second clusters are filled. Then we can configure one more, one more. Like this. Max how many clusters? Max how many clusters here? Max how many clusters? Yes, max how many clusters? Maximum number of clusters. Maximum number of clusters that can be configured max number of clusters clusters equal to 17 clusters max number of clusters are 17 clusters okay so total nodes total nodes total nodes in a data center total nodes in a data center in data center is equal to total nodes in a data center equal to 17 clusters multiplied by 10000 10000 is equal to 1 lakh 70000 nodes right Nodes. So one lakh, yes, one lakh seventy thousand nodes in the cluster. So this is one lakh seventy thousand nodes in a data center. Right? Suppose all these seventeen clusters are filled, then we should go for another data center, another data center, another data center, data center with data center with with next seventeen clusters next is 17 clusters right okay so data center just simply they will hide the building just hiding building here then configure next is 17 clusters next one more building next like this every data center it's separate building right yes yes i'll show that data center yes our data center deep world data center i'll show that deep world data center Yes, in document, in your document, I have placed that data center. Yes, this is data center. Data center. Very big data center. The rack one 
rack two, rack three, rack four, rack five, like this, all the racks, place all the racks. Instead of racks, placing nodes, systems, computers, all our network edge, all our connecting network here. So network, all the network here, all our connecting network. So they are the computers, placed in the rack edge, placed in the rack. So this is data center. So this is complete data center will be like this. Right, okay. Yes, in data center, yes, divided into clusters. Suppose these two racks may be one cluster. Next two racks may be one cluster. Next two racks may be next, next cluster. Yes, a cluster can have two racks or three racks, maybe 10 racks. Depends on size of rack. Okay. Yes, to accommodate 10,000, yes, 10,000 nodes in a cluster, right? To accommodate 10,000 nodes in cluster, yes, maybe using four racks or 10 racks, depends on size of each rack. Capacity of each rack, right? This is. So this is a, so this is a data center. Like this, one more data center. Just hiring next one more building here. Just hiring next one more building, next data center. Next data center, one more building like this. So this is data center, right? Okay. Yes, here another data center with next 17 clusters. Like this continuously here. There is no limit. Unlimited data. Unlimited data we can store into Hadoop cluster, right? There is the limit on this. So one essential cluster filled here, just adding five nodes. So next this is filled next to five nodes. Yes, filled next to five nodes. Next to five, next five by adding continuously here without disturbing existing cluster. Without disturbing existing cluster, continuously we can note we can add the nodes to cluster. Okay. So maximum number of nodes are ten thousand nodes. Maximum nodes in a cluster is equal to ten thousand nodes. So this is a Hadoop fluid expression. 1.x is 4,000 nodes, right, okay? Yes, all 10,000 nodes filled, that means cluster filled. Then we can configure one more cluster. Like this, max number of clusters equals 17 clusters. So 17 multiplied by 10,000 equals 1 lakh 70,000 nodes, we can configure. So this is maximum capacity of Hadoop data center, clear? So this is storage, okay? So there is no limit, there is no limit on storage. Any amount of data, huge amount of data can also can be stored. So this is about data storage. Okay. So this is data storage. Data storage, traditional systems versus Hadoop care, right? Yes, in traditional systems, what is happening? Just we are increasing volume of disk, right? Just we are increasing volume of server. We are increasing volume of server, right? Yes, if increasing volume of server, that is called the vertical scaling. But in Hadoop, what is happening here? We are not increasing volume of system, right? Yes, we are not increasing volume of servers. Yes, instead of increasing volume of servers here, just what we are doing, adding some more servers, right? Just we are adding servers. Okay, this is called as horizontal scaling. Horizontal scaling. Okay, so vertical scaling and horizontal scaling. See, traditional systems. Yes, see, traditional systems. This follows vertical scaling. Yes, vertical, vertical scaling, vertical scaling, next horizontal scaling, vertical scaling and horizontal scaling. What's the difference here? Horizontal scaling, vertical scaling, next horizontal scaling. So what's the difference here? Vertical scaling, vertical scaling means, vertical scaling means just increasing capacity of server. It is a, yes. Yes, it is increasing vertical scaling. It's a increasing increasing capacity of server. Increasing capacity of server. Increasing capacity of server. It's a vertical scaling. Okay, so it is increasing. Just increasing capacity of server is a vertical scaling. Increasing capacity. That okay? Yes, traditional systems. Yes, the traditional traditional database servers. Traditional database, database servers, traditional database servers like to Oracle database server, MySQL database server, if these things follows, follows vertical scaling. This following vertical scaling, vertical scaling, follows vertical scaling. Okay, vertical scaling, right? So this one follows. Traditional database servers follows vertical scaling, right? Yes, Hadoop. Yes, Hadoop is a hardened scaling. What is hardened scaling? 
Yes, what is hardened scaling? Yes, hardened scaling is a increasing, just increasing, increasing number of servers, increasing number of servers, increasing number of servers. Yes, is a hardened scaling. Here. Yes, what is hardened scaling? So it is increasing. Yes, it is a increasing number of servers. So when increasing capacity of server, that is called as vertical scaling. Increasing number of servers is a hardened scaling. Yes, Hadoop. Yes, Hadoop follows hardened scaling. Hadoop follows hardened scaling here. So traditional systems follows vertical scaling. Hadoop is a hardened scaling. So this is data storage in traditional systems and Hadoop is like this. Okay. So in Hadoop, there is no limit. Any amount of data can be stored. There is no limit of data here. Any amount of data we can store it. So big data we can store it. So this is solution. This is solution from the Hadoop. This is solution from the Hadoop to handle just big data to store big data. This is only data storage. Just this is a solution from the Hadoop for data storage here. Only data storage solution. Yes, still we have some other challenges. Data storage completed. Next data processing. Yes, how data processing takes place in traditional system? Next Hadoop. So this topic tomorrow will continue here. In traditional systems, data processing, next Hadoop data processing. Yes, in traditional system, it will take a lot of time. Hadoop within fraction of seconds, within milliseconds can finish that. Suppose in traditional system, some data processing for 30 minutes. Traditional system taking 30 minutes to process some data. Same data Hadoop can process within just milliseconds, 10 or 20 milliseconds enough. Okay. Yes, the topic we'll discuss next. Tomorrow we'll discuss. Tomorrow about data processing. Okay. Yes, once data processing finished, the remaining are very simple. Then within short time you can finish. So data processing, this has a time taken, minimum one hour required to expand data processing. Tomorrow we'll discuss about completely about data processing here. Okay. Right? Yes. Any doubt for today? So this is about data storage. Only data storage discussed. Tomorrow about data processing. Right? Okay. Yes. Any doubts? Actually, this is my experience. With my experience, I'm able to explain this much of things. Otherwise, no one can explain without experience. Without experience, no one can explain this way. Okay. This way is not possible to explain here. Okay. See any videos about how to no one in explain like this because this is this is my practical experience four clusters we have configured four projects very good experience end to end i have the experience that's the reason i'm able to explain this so this is data storage right okay next data processing yes even data processing are so very interesting tomorrow topic data processing is very interesting in how to care compared to traditional systems very interesting how do you follow in some algorithm in storage also how do you follow in some algorithm that algorithm not explained today because yes uh, in data processing i'll explain storage algorithm next data processing algorithm both will discuss next right okay tomorrow very interesting topic no doubt 100 percent very interesting topic tomorrow right okay so let us find out for today's session tomorrow we'll continue for data processing right okay Yes, I think no doubt, right? Shall we wind up for today? Shall we shall we wind up? Yes, okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yes, recordings. Yes, recordings available. Recording. Yes, today they will upload. Yes, next half an hour they will upload. After uploading, they can give you URL. Yes, one minute. Yes, sir. One minute. Yes, this is my WhatsApp number. Yes, just try to create group already group created. Yes, some more numbers how to add it. Yes, Prashant and Ravi, you should give your numbers 8179 This is my WhatsApp number. Yes, you need to just ping me WhatsApp number. Just give me this detail. Your name. Okay, your name. Next, yes, course. What's a course you're taking here? course next time this is yes name some extra that please ping these details to my whatsapp number course how do yes next time 10 a.m okay yes even as if 
Kashif, Prashant, Ravi, and these guys. Please uh, send me your all the details, these details. Yes, I'll create WhatsApp group. Yes, anything, I'll inform me WhatsApp group. Okay. Yes, any requirements, any request, just ping me in WhatsApp here. I'll respond immediately. It's very useful group. Okay. Yes, for all the previous patches, same, like this WhatsApp group created, they are communicating each other. Any doubts are they are sharing each other. Okay. Yes, mostly I will try to clarify any any doubts ping in group here. I will explain immediately. Suppose if yes, I may I may not be available here. Yes, in group somebody will answer this question here. Yes, before my question somebody will respond. Okay, just it's like a yes, competitive between that members. Okay. Yes, one each other sharing knowledge. Okay. So anyone, yes, anyone pinging some doubt can immediately somebody will respond. Okay, it's like a competitive environment between that group members. Okay, suppose somebody will respond here. Suppose anyone yes giving wrong answer, I'll correct it. Yes, anyone giving wrong answer, I'll correct that so that then yeah, that will be yes easy for all of the members. Yes, at a time sharing knowledge to all the members. Okay. Yes, I am, I am. I am a group admin. I am a group admin. I will add to that group. Now I am adding to group here. I am a group admin. Okay. So any yes, anyone, any information sharing into that group, I will share myself as well as others also. Next, one more advantage of that group is yes. After finishing your batch, of that group will be continued. I will not remove the group here. Yes, already world group is there. In that world group, 60 members are there. Yes, all of you guys, after finishing your batch, these your batch group members, I will add to that world group. Yes, in that world group, yes, in that world group here, yeah, they are sharing their company requirements. Any company required requirements of freshers or Hadoop requirements, maybe any other requirement, they are posting to that group here. Yeah. Yes, others are yes, taking advantage of that group. Yes, anyone freshers equipment is there in their companies, they are posting to that group here. It is very helpful and useful group. Suppose in Hadoop at the middle, maybe any somebody issue facing here, they'll post the issue to that group here. Somebody will try to resolve that issue here. If yes, if not resolved, yes, I'll start explaining. I'll resolve that issues. All right, okay. Yes. So just ping me these details. Ping me these GPS. Now I'm creating this group. Please ping me immediately. Don't delay here. Okay. Yes, please ping me all these details. Okay, right? Yeah. Thank you, guys. See you tomorrow. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, even I'm pinging your chat box also. My WhatsApp number.